What up, what up, what up? It's your girl Nancy Farm Fancy, Farmer Nancy, and we're about to react to this video where comedian Laura Knight explains what happened with T.I. before making a joke about assault allegations against him, point blank, period. So let's get into it, y'all. Here it is. Let's get it. I'm going to explain this one time. This is about what happened at one night only at our bar on Edgewood with myself and T.I. T.I. came to the show. It's about over anyway. It's an open mic. He comes. He does like 30 minutes. Now, after he gets off stage, I'm going to the next I'm hosting. I'm talking about marriage. He keeps cutting me off, telling me to shut the f up, calling me all kind of heckling me. So I'm like, all right, come on, stop playing with me. Like, it's crazy. You keep going and I can't say nothing to you. He then starts yelling about how I need to take my wig off multiple times. Take your wig off right now. Cutting me off. Take your wig off right now. Because a lot of y'all are saying I took a cheap shot. This is literally going on and on harassing me. I said, I'll take my wig off when you speak on the allegations nobody ever called him a rapist i responded to him telling me in a room full of people to rip my wig off and made a joke just like he did so if you got a problem with it not mine it is nothing to charge me for or you know, for the eye, no shut the f up for a second hey listen no 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 as many times as you jump on this i'm gonna check your mom as long as it takes when you stop talking about it, when you stop playing with me and mine, I'm going to stop saying something. I swear to God. Ain't no motherfucking case. Ain't never been no motherfucking case. Because I ain't did nothing wrong. And my wife ain't did nothing wrong. And if you keep on playing with me, nigga, I'm going to motherfucking continue to confront you publicly, verbally. <laughs> Never called you out your name, never called you a bitch. You give me a video where I called you a bitch, I give you a million dollars. Where I call you a bitch at? Where did I call you a bitch? I never called you no bitch. Bitch! 
she said the reason she said what she said was because T.I. called her a B-word. T.I. with his expanded vocabulary, he denied those allegations instantly, which led supporters to instantly label her a liar. All right, y'all. So we most definitely about to break this down because this is straight crazy. We want to look at T.I.'s apology to Miss Lauren after the incident that we just watched we're about to react so his reply is i've said from my entrance into the world of comedy first of all i thought ti was a rapper so we want to identify all the ways which he turns this on onto himself he puts the focus i my i my i i i i i've my it's just way too much it's just way too much so why is he even trying to come at her this way let's look let's look at this let's look at this let me get there let me get y'all there i've said from my interest into the world of comedy that i intend to use my light to shine on others First of all, like we just said, he's a rapper. So where did he get the experience, the reputation as a comedian to even shine any type of light? I don't, I don't know. Okay. He's interjecting himself. He's using his celebrity privilege here. Okay, let's unpack. Let's unpack. To bring awareness to those who also have love and respect for the art form. How can you bring awareness to someone when your word in that field doesn't hold any weight out of we don't find you funny at all anyways in the spirit of that everyone i'd like to introduce you to so you're introducing us to her i think she may have already been out there somewhere she's a young up and coming comic she's young and up and coming how you know she's up and coming she might be successful you know these are things they're just throwing out these things he's projecting these things on the scene in atlanta check her out she's a young black woman didn't even take the time to spell woman correctly fighting so we know she's fighting to use her voice for laughter use her voice so why did you interrupt her while she was using her voice Okay, wow, well, we're not we're not gonna breeze past this stuff because this happened to me and we want to explain and show and share how it is and why it is that people try to disenfranchise other people and believe that they can get away with it, and especially when it's someone popular, someone that people like. Okay. She's a young black woman fighting to use her voice for laughter and I understand that may take us down dark roads you understand why why were why were we taken down a dark road it became us no 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 ti sir it was you you were taken down some type of a dark road and found yourself in this situation here at time but there's always an opportunity to find a beacon there's an opportunity opportunity here this was an opportunity here to find a beacon that word beacon beacon really stuck out to me so i looked it up <clears throat> beacon the word beacon a fire or light set up in a high high or prominent position high and prominent these prominent high figures set up these things right it's british the word is british like eurocentric like cologne like colonizer colonizer okay it's a warning light a warning light signal light so this beacon is a warning signal okay it's a warning signal to find this is the opportunity that she was meant to see the whole situation was aggressive and was a warning he said what he said and he meant what he said so we we shouldn't have t we shouldn't take this lightly and just brush it off i'm sorry um lauren you're more than welcome to but this definitely is an example to me of how they will try to treat you 
Um, We want to find positive. We want to be productive and find a positive outcome amongst the warning, the signal, the fire, the hot fire. She touched the hot ass stove, y'all, that word beacon. As I say all the time, all the time, I didn't know if he said this all the time, all ships rise with a high tide. What does that mean? What are you saying? What are you saying? That all ships rise with the high tide. I had to look that up too. All ships rise with the high tide. We Googled it, right? A rising tide lifts all boats. Similar wording, similar phrasing. It's an aphorism associated with the idea that an improved economy will benefit all participants and that economic policy, particularly government economic policy, should therefore focus on broad economic efforts. What what does that mean? What does that mean? I had to look it up, y'all. I needed to know what that meant. Here it is. We we went, we looked it up. A rising tide lifts all boats. A rising tide lifts what? Oh, a phrase is commonly attributed to John F. Kennedy, who used it in a 1963 speech to combat criticisms that a dam project he was under was a pork barrel project. What's that? Pork barrel, simply poor is a metaphor for the Appropriation of government spending for localized projects secured solely or primarily for to bring money to a respective representative's district. Ooh, that looked like charity, government charity. Ooh, ooh, what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I feel some kind of way. I feel some kind of way. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Okay, so revealed that the phrase was not one of his, not one of his or the president's own fashioning. Remember him? He wrote that he noticed that the regional chamber of commerce had a thoughtful slogan: "A rising tide lifts all boats." From then on, Kennedy would borrow the slogan. Subsequent decades, the phrase had been used to defend tax cuts and other policies in which. Girl, this is a this is okay. This is see, did y'all see that? The phrase has been used to defend tax cuts and other policies in which the initial beneficiaries are high income earners. Girl, please, he just charity your ass. He just put you on a charity block. He writing you off as a tax write off. Even if he do ever give you that million dollars, he gonna write you write you off as a charity. Basically, may she use whatever fame and notoriety she receives for good. Because guess what? You're a charity. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Hope you bring the world more joy and laughter with the light you receive. I've done my part moving on hell yeah you moving on because you just writing off the whole incident even if she sue you or any of that shit you use the phrase so that you you can let us know that this is a for charity her economic position you put that out there her economic disparity you saw her as being economically despaired that's why you threw you just trying to you trying to get some text text Tax exempt million dollars, a million dollars tax exempt. Ooh, 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 ooh. Girl, Mm-mm-mm. this is a warning. This all this shit still stands. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even accept none of what is he talking amicable. You good with this? I'm not good with it. I'm gonna tell you why I'm not good with it because I've been disenfranchised, not in this fashion. This, this was harsh. This was hard, not harsh right here, but yes. Mr. Brown, let me double back to you. My last life, I had to let you know and let others know the disenfranchising of women and women's work is a real thing. And when it's so easily thrown around like this and all of these pretty little words right here, you can't play pretend like this is okay, sir. You made it to where it was almost possible that this woman wouldn't be able to get work again you lied and people stood by and watched 
same situation. I found myself in with Kwame Brown. People sit by and watch and nobody said anything. Nobody said anything. And everybody was threatening this young lady. Threatening her. So glad she had the proof. So glad that she was able to share and show the world those receipts. It's not, it shouldn't be easy for people to get away with disenfranchising others like this in this type of manner. And he's just going to move on. Like, none of the actions we saw in that video just happened. I advise everybody to go back um, and replay that. All in her bubble. Stranger danger. Yeah, not cool. Not cool. But, you guys, I'm out checking on the other side get better with my reaction videos but i had to put something together for this immediately because it really grinded my gears okay talk to y'all later